Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video for you this week and this one as you can see is the Blue Spartan Premium Format by Sideshow Collectibles. As you know this was a very limited run. They did a red and a blue one limited to just 100 pieces each. A uh, quick look at the box, it's absolutely massive. Uh, same as the regular Master Chief, um, but it's just distinguished by that blue Spartan sticker on the front. Uh, nothing much to it apart from a picture of the statue. Uh, the sides and the back are pretty plain. And on the bottom you've got the edition size and number. Okay, so that's the box. Let's move on to the statue. Okay, so here we are with the statue itself, and the first thing you notice is that it's massive. He stands about 26 inches tall. So I think it will fit in a Bester cabinet for those of you that have got those. And it will fit in a Detolf as well on the bottom shelf if you remove one of the glass shelves above it. So he's alright to display, and it's a pretty uh, imposing piece. Now this comes with all three weapons. I think most people weren't expecting it to come with the pistol because on the pre-order description it didn't include the pistol um, but it does which is quite a nice bonus. But this is actually my preferred display option with the needler and this is actually the reason that I went for this blue Spartan. I saw all the reviews of the Master Chief exclusive and I thought the Needler looked incredible and I was kind of gutted that I missed out. I'm not a massive Halo fan, I've only ever played it uh, multiplayer home games uh, which have been pretty cool fun but I've never played through the single player campaign so it didn't really bother me about not having the actual green Master Chief. So when this came up for pre-order and I saw it included the Needler, I jumped on it and managed to get hold of one. And I'm really glad I did because this, this is the best weapon by far, I think. The detail on it is incredible. I think you can see there the kind of honeycomb pattern on the needler itself. Really nicely done and the needles on top they're kind of a slightly flexible plastic so they're a little bit resistant to breakage. And it's well packed in the box as well. I was expecting not expecting it to be damaged but worried about it but it's really well packed in there. The needles don't actually touch anything so yeah I'd be very surprised if any of these statues come damaged. Looking at the base nothing much to it it's just a big well brown rock basically uh, but you know it gives the impression that he's on this alien planet and it does add to the overall height of the statue. So it's okay, it's very light. The statue, the whole statue actually, if you're not a fan of light statues, you might want to avoid this because it's not the heaviest. You can tell the whole thing is pretty hollow. So as well as the gun, uh, all three guns are done really nicely. I'll show the other two shortly. The visor is the other impressive thing. They've done a great job of giving it a reflective finish. And you can see on the suit as well, looks really good, really nicely done. They've kind of give it a fabric look to it. You can see there. 
and the suit itself has got plenty of battle damage. I, I think it could have been done a bit better. But it's okay. You know, if you're not inspecting the statue really closely, it looks pretty good. Moving round to the back. There you can see the battle damage effect. Really nice details on the back of the boots as well. Okay, so that's a look at the statue. I'm just going to switch out the gun for you so you can see him with the assault rifle and the pistol. So bear with me one second. Okay, so here he is with the pistol. This is kind of a unnecessary bonus weapon, I would say. I guess it's nice to have, but I can't really see anyone choosing to display him with the pistol when the needler and the assault rifle both look so much better. But again, it's quite cool to have. Now, one of my biggest um, or my only complaint about this statue is the way the arms fit in. It's quite hard to get him to hold the gun, the guns properly, so it sits in the palm of his hand. And yesterday when it arrived, I couldn't couldn't get it to sit in there but this is my first time having a proper good look at it and as you can see I've managed to get it to sit in there quite nicely now so really happy about that basically the gun hand pegs into his right arm and the needler and the pistol both use the same right arm and the left arm pins into his shoulder and it's just a bit fiddly to get them to go together nicely but as you can see play with it for a little bit and you can get it perfect okay so that's the pistol let's have a look at the assault rifle okay so here he is with the assault rifle now as you can see on this one I've just been playing with it and I can't get it to quite sit in his hand flush. It's kind of sitting on the top of his fingers rather than in the palm of his hand. I mean I might be able to play with it a bit and get it perfect but I really like it displayed with the needler so I'm not too fussed about fiddling with it too much and potentially breaking it. If you want to use the assault rifle it's the assault rifle in his right arm is all one piece and you basically plug that into his shoulder and then there's another left arm which is designed to go with the assault rifle the details on the assault rifle really nicely done nice bit of battle damage I do think the weapons on this statue are the the best parts about it they all look really cool and nice detail on the back of the gun there you can see how many rounds he's got left it's only a sticker but it looks pretty cool Okay, so there you go, that's the Blue Spartan by Sideshow Collectibles. I'm just going to finish off by giving you a quick size comparison with a couple of other big pieces so that you can get a good idea of the size of this guy. 
Okay, so here we are with my Pepsi can for size comparison. And I've also placed him next to two other massive pieces, which is the Spider-Man Comiquette and the Sagat from Pop Culture Shock. And as you can see, he towers over both of them. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the size of this piece. I mean, Sagat, when I got out of the box, I was blown away by how big it was. And then you put it next to Master Chief, <laughs> and he looks small. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this video. And I'll see you on the next one, which should be either the Pop Culture Shock Judge Death exclusive or the Shao Kahn regular. They're both, uh, they've cleared customs. I've just got to pay the customs fees. So I should hopefully have them tomorrow or the next day. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.